Hello friends, this video on states of matter part 10 is brought to you by examfa.com. No more TA from exam. Before watching the video, please make sure that you have watched part 1 to part 9. Let's take Avogadro's law now. So it states that equal volume of gas under same condition of temperature and pressure occupies equal number of molecules. So I have equal volume of gas. Let's suppose I have x moles of gas because x moles of gas. So this x mole of any gas under particular temperature and pressure will have same volume. This is what this law says. So you can see that volume is directly proportional to the number of moles of gas. Number of moles or number of molecules. Because end of the day number of molecules makes a mole, right? So one mole is equal to uh, 1.6023 into the power 23 molecules. So you can say that this is depend on uh, the mole of gas or the number of molecules of gas. So if I have x molecules of gas at, at some particular temperature and pressure, x molecule of another gas at some temperature and pressure, both will occupy same volume, right? And this number is Avogadro constant 6.023 into the power 23. Uh, one mole is equal to 6.023 into the power 23 molecules. Just now I told I think the incorrect figure. The correct figure is one mole is equal to 6.023 into the power 23 molecules. Thus, if you see one mole of each gas, you take any gas under standard temperature and pressure will have same. So at, at STP, at the standard temperature pressure, the molar volume of ideal gas or combination of ideal gas is 22.7 liter per mole. This is my uh, volume of ideal gas at STP. And STP means my 0 degree Celsius, that is 273.15 Kelvin and 1 bar. That is 10 to the power 5 Pascal pressure. A very good question that comes to our mind is why do we need standard pressure and temperature and why is this value only? See as I told that most of these for example in this case I told that at a specific temperature and pressure the volume of n molecule is x let's suppose or x molecule is some value b. Now the same condition and pressure instead of telling always that okay temperature is x degree celsius and pressure is y degree uh, y pascals or y uh, atms or y bar we tell let's have a standard temperature and pressure just easy for con conveying stuff for example when i told stp i mean a temperature of 0 degree celsius and pressure of 1 atmospheric pressure correct that is what my stp means correct now, why it is 0 degree Celsius and 1 atmospheric pressure? It is because 1 atmospheric pressure is very easy to achieve. Just have something in a jar and open it up. Open it up. So, the atmosphere itself will apply the pressure. So, you don't need a special machine to get this 1 atmospheric pressure. So, it is easy to achieve 1 atmospheric pressure. And 0 degree Celsius is also easy to achieve. So this, this temperature and this pressure is easy to achieve. If I give something like uh, uh, 100 ATM as a standard pressure, it will be difficult to achieve because then all the labs around the world will should have special machines to get this type of pressure and it will be difficult to conduct experiments also. But conducting experiments openly in the air is very easy. So, and everywhere you go, at least in the earth, you will get one ATM pressure, not in the mountains where the pressure goes down but in the normal uh, condition you get one atmospheric pressure so it's easy to achieve and this temperature also easy to achieve that's why the, uh, the scientist community has decided okay let's take zero degree celsius and one uh, bar pressure to be standard temperature and pressure let's have a logical uh, explanation of the Avogadro law so if my n molecules of a gas Let's suppose gas A occupies this volume. My another n molecules will occupy this volume. So 2n will occupy double of the volume. 
If you take another end of some other gas also, it locked by same volume. If you take another end, it locked by same volume. If you take another end, it locked by same volume. Correct. So, if n occupy this much, 2n occupy double of this, 3n triple of this, 4n four times of this, it goes on. And that's how uh, what the Avogadro's law says that in this case, all gases I have taken same, but I can have different gas actually. I should have taken different colors of gas actually here. This is gas A, this is gas B, this is gas C, gas D, gas E, and gas F. If all are ideal gas, they can be different gas, hydrogen, oxygen, they can be different gas, but if the n molecules will occupy same uh, volume under specific specific temperature and pressure. Okay, and that specific pressure and uh, temperature and pressure we take is standard temperature and pressure. But for any specific temperature and pressure, it will occupy symbol. Let's do a lab for the Avogadro law. So for this, what we can do is we can take three Coke bottles, three balloons, and one Mentos. So Avogadro law says that volume is actually proportional to n. Right? This is what we have seen. So what we will do here in this bottle, we'll arrange something like this. So in this bottle, let's suppose we have put uh, two Mentos, in this we'll put five Mentos, in this we'll put ten Mentos. Bottle one, bottle two, bottle three. One, two and three. In all these, we'll put balloons like this. Open the lid, put the balloons. And then we'll shake it and we'll see that all this volume will uh, balloon will expand but if you see this is let's suppose volume one this is volume two and this is volume three and if you have a uh, measuring tape something like this little scales measuring tape you can measure the diameter of all these three balloons you'll see that volume one is less than volume two and volume three so volume three is max volume two is lesser volume one is least and if you see the number of mentors also is in the same fashion, 1, 2, 5 and 10. So what happens here is, the no, more number of mentors you put, the more, you know, the, the mint reacts with coke, right? So the more reaction happens, and the more number of uh, uh, moles of gas comes out here, right? So in this case, a lesser number of uh, moles of gas came out here, more number of moles of gas came out, here all the more number of moles of gas came out. So here N1, N2, N3, N3 is the biggest number because the more Mentos you put in the coke, the more reaction happens. So we must have seen the reactant product. So the one which is the lesser that determines the reaction. So coke we have in plenty, but the Mentos, with Mentos we control the reaction. The lesser number of Mentos you put, the lesser reaction happens. The more Mentos you put, the more reaction happens. Right? Hope you understand this. We have three bottles, you can take three bottles of coke and put different number of Mentos and put the balloon and you see that the balloons expand. Uh, differently and you can relate the volume of the gas with the number of Mentos here. If you see my hair also N1, N2 and N3 will have a similar relation where N3 is greater than N2 and N2 is greater than N1. And similarly if you see the volume will also have a similar relation. So with, that, with this experiment we can conclude that whatever Avogadro is saying is correct. So here is the molar mass in liter per volume for some the gases at standard temperature and pressure, argon, this many liters, all are in liters per mole. Correct. So for ideal gas it is 22.71 liters per mole, we have studied that. And for other gases, if you see for dihydrogen it is 22.72, almost close, dioxygen also almost close. So all these gases are almost close to the idle gas. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors and much more. Thanks once again.